and welcome to the show. These days we're no longer interested in the slow boat to China. Getting from A to B as quickly as possible is all important. But while it takes less than 24 hours to fly from London to Sydney, it still takes several weeks by ship. Visions of gigantic craft plying the world's oceans at 100 knots have never materialised because there's too much friction between the hull of the boat and the water. Simon's been looking at a possible solution. It looks like something an astronaut might feel at home in. And yes, it does fly. But technically speaking, it's still a boat. Once it reaches about 50 kilometres an hour, the airfoil flare boat takes off and flies, just clear of the water. From the passenger's seat, it's an incredible sensation in this two-seater version. The airfoil flare boat uses the principle of ground effect to generate lift and literally make it fly about 40 centimetres above the surface of the water. The great advantage of such a craft is its fuel efficiency. Because there is no resistance or drag from the hulls through the water, fuel savings of up to about 85% can be achieved. For a company operating these boats, that's a big saving. OK, Ryan. The two four and nine seater versions are all capable of cruising at about 130 to 140 kilometers an hour. An air rudder at the rear is connected to the steering wheel to guide the craft. The lift is caused by air pressure between the water surface and the wings when the boat is moving forward. Former pilot and aeronautical engineer Gunter Jörg has 20 years and two million dollars of his own money invested in the project. A huge 400-seat model is being planned that could operate in much rougher conditions over the open sea with a 2-3 to three metre flying capacity. But there'd obviously be a cut-off point where conditions would make such a boat unsafe. Further evaluation will answer those questions. The flare boat has three hulls. The centre compartment for both the smaller and the larger versions will always be used to carry passengers, while the two outer hulls act as stabilisers. Connecting the three hulls are two front and two rear aluminium wings. Once the boat reaches a certain speed, a delicate balance is struck between the weight of the craft and the lift generated by the ground effect. This ensures it will never flip over. The principle of the airfoil flare boat is tried and tested. Achieving high speeds with such low power has been a long-held goal of the marine industry. There's a strong possibility that the airfoil will be the next generation of high-speed water transport. Even that cliched line about leaving other boats in its wake is redundant. It doesn't produce a wake. 